I understand football is a huge game and when I say football I mean like soccer not the other football um, the Americans are used to but like soccer so it's huge especially here on the continent people love football it can be the African Cup it can be the World Cup it can be the European Club people are obsessed a lot of especially younger I would say men are into football and when it comes to the World Cup most people are into it because it's a game between countries and most likely your country is playing so you know that patriotism will come out of you so you know the World Cup is going on and African football fans are heartbroken right now and I, I feel so bad for them I'm not a, a fan of football but I understand it I appreciate it I respect it for what it is um, but you know I'm not sitting there just cheering and stuff when i hear somebody on i'm like oh yeah an african uh, country just won this game oh no an african country lost this game like i i am involved in that regard but other than that no so the reason why their hearts are broken right now is because the only country that is in the world cup right now is morocco the morocco team is the only team that is in the world cup because everyone lost unfortunately and went home so africans have been celebrating left and right each country they're like oh at least we have morocco in the game we can't wait till they win the world cup and the excitement <laughs> was just it was there okay but then after Morocco won the game, I think it was with Spain, 3-0, to zero, their player came out to congratulate the people. And he said, the Moroccan player, his name is Sofian Baufal, he said, Morocco's win is for the Arabs and Moroccans. Before he said that on Tuesday, there was a celebration in Africa because of Morocco's victory, winning the game 3-0. to zero against Spain but then the Moroccan player um, Sofiane came out and said this victory is for the Arab world and Moroccan and Africans started panicking they're like oh my god we're just celebrating this is you know a victory for Africa because at the end of the day Morocco is in Africa yes it's the northern part of Africa but you know it is in part of Africa so people were very excited and then he just poof took it away with one tweet and after he realized the backlash and he came back again and he said oh sorry I, I forgot to mention Africa Africa as well Africa I swear to you he said he forgot to mention Africa as well so um, I don't know if um, that was an honest mistake or that's just the mentality you know at the end of the day you can't force people to unite with you if they don't feel like they belong so if that's how he truly feels, I don't think he should be harassed into apologizing and saying even Africa, you know, yes, the fact of the matter is Morocco is in Africa. But as he said, this is a victory to the Arab world and Morocco. I'm sorry to see a lot of, you know, the football fans being sad with what he said. But at the end of the day, you can't force people to identify as, you know, African if that's not how they feel I don't know what to say anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this player's tweet do you think it was intentional do you think it's just because he does not see himself as an African do you think the fans should be upset let us know down below I am Ungil Zalalem I'll see you on the next one bye